Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2023, slot 2 DILR, says that there are 9 boxes arranged in a 3 cross 3 array as shown in tables 1 and 2. Each box contains 3 sacks. Each sack has a certain number of coins between 1 and 9, both inclusive. The average number of coins per sack in the boxes are all distinct integers. The total number of coins in each row is the same. The total number of coins in each column is also the same. Now this set was considered to be very difficult by the aspirants, but these points are the key ones that will help you uniquely fill the cells a bit easier. It says average number of coins per sack in the boxes are all distinct integers. So there are nine boxes. Average will be distinct. Now, what does that mean? Nine boxes, different averages. So the average are going to be one, two, three, and so on till nine, right? And there are three sacks. Each box contains three sacks. So the total are going to be three, six, nine, and so on till 27. So we basically need to fill a total of 3, 9 like this, 3, 6, 9 up to 27, right? So that is the first thing. Now, what is the total of all the coins? Total coins will be sum of these numbers, or you can say 3 times of 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on till 9. Sum of first n natural numbers is n n plus 1 by 2. So the total is 135, right? Total is 135. We are given that in each row it is same. So 135 by 3, that is 45. In each column also, we will have 45. So the crux was, if one used these two statements, understood these two statements, it was easy. It was not that difficult as it seemed. Now what we need to fill is, we need to fill a total like this. Okay, one of the questions was also about the sum of numbers in one of the rows. So that was the easy question. Now see this, this we need to make 45, 45, 45 total across these nine boxes. Okay, now the next thing is, it is key, table one gives information regarding the median. Median means the central value. Okay, of the numbers of coins in the three sacks in a box for sum of the boxes. Right, so let us first use this data, median value, and then we will read about the second table and then solve it. So median value is 9. So when we arrange in ascending order, so generally we use ascending order, this median value, sorry, this place, the median value is 9. Median means, right, there will be something less, something more. There cannot be anything more than that. So it is 9. Similarly, the median value is 6. We cannot find the values over here. Median value is 2. Median value is 8. This may be 8 also, 9 also. So we will just fill these values as of now. Okay. And what are these totals that we are discussing? These totals should be out of the numbers. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So these should be the totals that should come in these boxes. So we will have to fill that accordingly. Okay. Next thing we are given that table 2. This was up to this. It was okay. This was the tough part. Which said that table 2 each box has a number that represents the number of sacks having more than 5 coins. The number of sacks having more than 5 coins. Okay. So the number whatever is given let us say this sack has three so that means three coins are more than five this sack has two so two coins are more than five so basically it would mean that since six is already more than five this will be more than five this will be less than five two sacks right which are more than five so these two are more than five this will be less than five okay Similarly, there is only one value which is less than, um, more than 5. Here, one value more than 5. So, the third value is going to be more than 5. 
So these are the conditions. So instead of trying to put the values more than 5, less than 5, let us look at the second thing which is a star and we will count first we will start with these values and then figure out the meaning of star. So it says that the number is followed by a star if asterisk if the sacks in that box satisfy exactly one among the following three conditions. If one condition is satisfied there is one asterisk and if it is followed by uh, two asterisks if two or more of these conditions are satisfied. If multiple conditions are satisfied then you will have double asterisk. If only one condition is satisfied, we will have single asterisk. Okay. Now let us first start with the uh, boxes in which we have already filled the values, and then we will look at the asterisks and other things later. So for second column, if you see first row and second column, it says two asterisk. That means two numbers are greater than five, which we have used, and one of the asterisk is used. Asterisk means minimum value should be one, median should be one, or maximum should be 9. So maximum 9 is being satisfied. So these two will not be satisfied. So minimum cannot be 1. Okay. So we know that it is between greater than 1 and less than 5, whatever number is there. Okay. Now it should be a total that should be a multiple of 3. That is the condition here. Average because we, while understanding this information, people forgot this information that average has to be an integer. So it should be a multiple of 9. So 18 is already there, right? So we should have a total between 19 and 23. The total should be between 19 and 23. Only 21 fits. So the total is 21 and we will have 3 here. Okay, so we will knock off 21 from our list, right? Now next coming to uh, this is filled. Third column, first row, that is 2 asterisk. 2 and 1 asterisk. 1 asterisk means one of the conditions should satisfy. Median is uh, 1 that is not possible. Maximum could be 9. Minimum could be 1. So anything could happen out of this. So we will leave it. Next let us look at this one. So it says second row first uh, column. It says two conditions are satisfied. Right. See median is not 1 because median is 2. Minimum should be 1. So two conditions should satisfy. Point number 2 is not getting satisfied. So we should have minimum should be 1 and maximum should be 9. Right. So total is 12. Knock it off. 12 is gone. Let's come to uh, the third row. The uh, It says 3. So all numbers are greater than 5. Okay. And it should satisfy only one of the conditions. Right. So first condition will not be satisfied because minimum cannot be 1. Median is not 1. So maximum will be 9. So maximum is 9. Okay. 17 is there. Right. 17 is already there. The second value is greater than 5. Thir the missing value is greater than 5. So it should the total should be greater than 22. Right. So what are the possibilities? 24 and 27. Is 27 possible? We need 10 for it. So not possible. So total will be 24 and it will be 7, 8, 9. Okay. Now, as I said that most people skipped this part and this total struggled after this point. Now we will make it easy. See 12, uh, 24 and 12, 36, this total will be 9. 9 plus 21, 30. This total will be 15, right? Okay. This is the case. Now, uh, we will knock off 9 and 15 from there. Now, pay attention to one thing that there have to be two small values. Always look for extreme cases. These are small values 3 and 6, right? 3 and 6 means that... Uh, we should get a 0 for 3 and 6 because 3, how will you make 3? You will, you can make 3 only 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now, 6 can be made like 1, 1, 4, 1, 2, 3 or like this. We will definitely have less than 5. Okay? We will use all values less than 5. All values should be less than 5. So, we will have to find those two numbers where we can put 3 and 6. 
So three and six will come in these two spaces. Three and six should come in these two spaces. Now three can be formed only one way. That is one one one. Now if you have one one one, so it was to go back, uh, track and then fill it. So if we have one one one, how many conditions will be satisfied? Minimum will be one. Median will be one, and maximum cannot be nine. So obviously two conditions are satisfied. That means this. Third row and third column is one, one, one. Now this was the key point here, the extreme case. If you figure out this extreme case, that one, one, one will come here. The set is done. Okay, so one, one, one. That means the total is three, and this is eighteen twenty-seven, and it was, uh, it will be eighteen twenty-four forty-two forty-five. This is twenty-seven plus uh, twelve thirty-nine plus six. Okay, so the totals are known to us. Now we can probably fill it in lesser time. So I was able to sell, solve this set in around ten to twelve minutes in the examination, just because of repeatedly applying this total and the concept of this total of forty-five using the multiples of three. That was the key in this. Similar set had been asked in CAT in the past in 2019, slot two. If someone had solved that, probably one would have got some hint that how to fill the totals in each of the boxes. Okay, now we are given that these are the sums. So 27 can be formed in only one way. That is 999, right? Okay, 999 is done. Uh, so we have to fill these remaining values. And we will see the conditions also. So this is filled. This is filled. This is filled. This is filled. This is also filled. Okay. So now let us do this extreme one. It says only one condition should be satisfied. Obviously, greatest cannot be nine. If we take median as one. Okay. So if we take median as one, so minimum all obviously would be one only. But th that will make two conditions satisfied. So median will not be one. So minimum will be one, and then if you cannot take one, you can take only one possibility. That is one, two, three. So this uh, box is also done. Now we have to fill these three values. It says one and two star. One means only one value will be more than five. Total is nine. Now total is nine. How can you make a value more than five? So if you take five, you need a total of four more. Okay, this value is greater than five, so it will be six. And the only way to make it one two six. Okay, one possibility is one two six. Let us see if it satisfies two conditions. It should satisfy two conditions. One, only one condition satisfied. To make to satisfy two conditions, we will have to make these two conditions satisfy. So one is the lowest value, one is the median value, and the Third value is greater than five. So this condition is also satisfied. Okay, so nine is also done. Now we are left with these two, fifteen and eighteen. Fifteen, we are given that two condition, uh, two values are greater than five. This value is greater than five, and uh, we are given that one condition should satisfy. Okay. One condition that could only satisfy is see if you put maximum value as nine, this will be zero, which is not possible. So the only condition that will satisfy in this column is the first condition. So it is one. Okay, one seven seven plus eight is fifteen. So that's how this condition will satisfy, and the value will be filled. So now we are left with only one value, which is a total of eighteen. So let's see. We are given that two values are greater than five. So these are the two values will be greater than five, and this value will be less than five, right? And it says two conditions should satisfy. So two conditions: median cannot be one because this is greater than five, right? And we need to have two conditions satisfy. We are given two stars, so that means one and nine are the values. So the smallest value is one, largest value is nine. Total is eighteen. So this will be one, eight, and nine. So this will enable us to fill all the values in the grid. Now the key point here was again, people thought that this was important. Yes, it was important, but the key was this average thing. 
getting these totals if someone figured out that these are the different totals that one had to put this was relatively easier not saying that it is easy it was a difficult one but definitely if someone does not think of these aspects would struggle to solve this set infinitely what is the total number of coins in all the boxes in the third row now this could have been answered by just without even reading these conditions one could have answered this question because we already said that the total is 135 and the average is going to be 45. How many boxes have at least one sack containing nine coins? Now this had to be solved for complete for uh, once we got the complete solution. We need to tell how many boxes have at least one sack containing nine coins. So one box, two box, three box, four box and five box. Okay, so there are five such boxes. For how many boxes are the average and median of the number of coins contained in the three sacks in that box the same? Now, even if you did not attempt this set, there were three theta questions. You could have randomly marked the answers. So for such a question, like the educated guess could be a central number, right? Don't take like nine, maybe three or four, but we will just uh, see this. So the median is one, nine, six, two, two, nine, eight, eight, and one. Median is the central value. Total is nine, so average is three. This average is seven. Okay, this is 15, so the average is five. Four is the average, the average is eight, the average is two, the average is six, the average is nine, the average is one. So let us see median matches with the average. 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 And median matches with the average. So we have four such values. Okay, four, four values where median and average is the same. How many sacks have exactly one point? So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8 and 9 coins. 9 sacks have exactly 1 coin. In how many boxes do all 3 sacks contain different number of coins? So this is not that one. This is not the one. This is one of those. Another 3. And then we have 4, 5. So we have 5 such boxes that contain different number of coins. Now an ideal way would be like if one would have got that 45 thing right and then randomly put some answers uh, instead of attempting the set. Okay, So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.